Hi, I'm in the ancient spa village of Bagno Vignoni in the middle of beautiful Tuscany. And the bike I've come to ride comes from not far from here in Bologna. It's Ducati's Hyperstrada. Tuscany is not just beautiful and full of history, it's a fantastic place to ride a motorbike. But before you can ride on roads like this, you've got to get there. What Ducati have tried to do with the Hyperstrada is create a sensible bike for touring or even commuting, with some comfort and practicality. Ducati didn't make things easy for themselves because the basis for this bike is the Hypermotard, which must be one of the least sensible bikes in existence. A supermoto style V-twin with a well-deserved reputation for wheelies, stunts and general hooliganism. Ducati's timing is good though because the Hypermotard has just been updated with its first liquid-cooled engine, which the Hyperstrada shares. It's an 821cc, 8-valve Desmo unit that has long stroke dimensions to boost performance at low revs. There are three riding modes, with Sport and the softer Touring giving the full 110 horsepower, and Urban a softer still delivery to a lower limit of 75 horsepower. The Hyperstrada's new Touring friendly features include a taller windscreen, higher handlebars, longer mud guards, two 12 volt power sockets, and a wider seat, which is a bit lower than the Hypermotards, but still pretty high at 850 millimeters. So the Hyperstrada feels a bit more like a normal street bike, but it still has that supermoto feeling that you're sitting so far forward that you're almost on the fuel tank. Some people seem to really dislike this riding position, but you do get used to it, and I didn't find the Ducati uncomfortable. It certainly is fun to ride, partly because that engine is fantastic. It's wonderfully responsive at low revs, really strong through the mid-range, and powerful and smooth when you're giving it some stick through the excellent six-speed gearbox. With those three riding modes and a good traction control system, the V-Twin is a refined engine, but it has a lovely raw edge to it. The Hyperstrada is more than quick enough to be exciting, with a top speed of about 130 miles an hour. And despite the screen and hand guards, you get enough wind blast to make the bike feel faster. Chassis performance is very good too. This Ducati uses the Hypermotard's tubular steel frame, but new front forks give 20 millimeters less travel, which I prefer because the steering is slightly sharper. The Hyperstrada is very light, at just over 200 kilos or about 450 pounds with a full tank, and it's superbly flickable and easy to steer. And you've still got about 150 millimeters of travel at each end, which is pretty generous and enough for good ride quality. There's fierce braking power from Brembo monoblock front calipers with an excellent ABS system and reliable grip from Pirelli's Scorpion Sport tyres. Occasional scrapes from the centre stand and bends made me think the rear suspension will be a bit too soft with a pillion on board, but at least the shock can quickly be firmed up using the remote preload adjuster. As a tourer, the Hyperstrada is not very big, so it'd be a bit cramped when two up in particular, but the seat seemed comfortable and the pillion has a solid luggage rack to hold onto. The engine is respectably economical, so most riders will get at least 150 miles from a tankful. The standard fitment panniers are not very big, they're made from plastic and nylon and closed with zips, so they're not secure either, but they're definitely useful even so. The mirrors aren't much good, but the hand guards give useful weather protection, and the Hyperstrada even has a centre stand, which you can't say about many Ducatis. Overall, I'm really impressed by the Hyperstrada. It's quite expensive for a medium-sized bike, and it's not as comfortable as a full-blown Tourer, especially for two people. But it's quick, it handles and brakes really well, it's versatile and it has a really appealing character that makes it a lot of fun. Despite its supermoto hooligan origins, it's actually a Ducati that makes a lot of sense.